Okay, so in the last video here, we will be discussing about EHRP, how to implement or how to configure EHRP for IPv6. So I'm going to take the same two routers which we used in our previous labs. Only the difference is I think I did not remove IPv6, so I'll, I'll see if I did not remove, I'll remove it. So we are going to implement EHRP and ensure that both the protocols, both the route, routers should be able to exchange the routes, okay. So here also the same commands, similar commands we can say. We need to get into config mode. Okay, so I'll I'll start with the lab here. Router one. So if I verify show IPv6 protocols, IPv6 is already configured here, so I'll remove it. Whatever we configured in our previous video. So I'll also remove on the router two. So anything you want to remove, just you need to add no before that. Okay, done. And now if I verify show IPv6 protocols. I can see there is no routing running on it. Okay, so it, it's simple basic IPv6 addresses configuration. Okay, so now I want to ensure that both the routers should be able to exchange the routes using EHRP. So the command is same. We need to decide which routing protocol we need to use and we are deciding as router EHRP 100. Just add IPv6 before to that. Now here also we have a concept of router ID here. So now the router ID command depends upon the IOS. Uh, some IOS have router ID command also, but not compulsory. Okay, so even in EHRP for IPv6, we can use router ID co command. Uh, this IOS which I'm using, it's not accepting that command. So it's okay, not a problem. So, but not compulsory. It varies depending upon the IOS. So you just need to check out that one. But there is one important thing we need to keep in mind. There is a command called no shutdown is mandatory here. If you don't give no shutdown command, by default, the EHRP process will not come up. Just like, you know, by default, uh, Cisco router interface will be in shutdown state. Similar way, by default, when you enable the EHRP protocol, by default, it goes into, it is in a shutdown state. So this is something mandatory you have to remember. So what we did, we used two commands, these two commands just now, inside the config mode, that's it. And after that, we need to go to the interface and then enable the protocol. So enabling the protocol is very simple. Just go to interface and then say IPv6 EHRP 100. And the same thing we need to do on the other interface also. That's it. So if I just summarize the commands what I used. So I enable the protocol and then I used a command called no shutdown which is mandatory, remember that. If you don't use no shutdown command, this is one new thing we need to uh, remember in IPv6. And then enabling the IPv6 protocol under the interfaces is similar what we did in our previous remaining protocols also. Okay, so let me copy paste the same commands on router 2 also because you can see I'm using the same interfaces. So there's no change in the interfaces on the router 2. So I can simply copy paste the same commands here. Okay, done. So now if I verify show IPv6 EHRP neighbors, I should be able to see the neighborship uh, no usable router ID found. Just tell me. So now here, when I when I was trying to verify the neighborship, you can see there is a command saying that no router ID found. Uh, this is something similar to OSP of what we discussed. It will automatically try to take the highest IP address of the loopback interface in IP version four format and or else it will uh, if there is no loopback it will automatically take the highest type of the physical interface but here as per my ios which i'm using it's not taking the router id command but in general it, it will take the ios which i was using it's not taking the router id command here you can see here it's not taking the command so probably what i'm doing what i did is i just try to configure an ipv4 address in, on the interfaces so just for uh, testing purpose so we really no need IPv4 address but router ID is something we need so I'm going to configure some interface with some IPv4 address so that it can automatically take this address as router ID okay so that's what I'm, uh, I'm doing here so now if I verify show IPv6 EHRP neighbors I should see the neighborship 